Also, I really hate that <laughs> there's one enemy in this area where he like, for some reason, takes your fucking pizza with you. He spawns these Shakespeare heads, which chase you around. They're only slightly annoying. But yeah, it's it's a bit comedic. But yeah, like I was saying, this this whole place is fucking amazing. The background, as you can see, there's scholars who are, you know, they're they're ghosts now. I believe they're dead, but they're still studying in this place, which is actually fucking awesome. It's world development, you know. And there's this guy. El sonido no cesa. Recta sobre estos muros olvidados. Sin que nadie pueda determinar su procedencia o su ignoto destino. Por amor a la alta voluntad, a hacerlo callar, pues lo ansío desde hace tiempo. Well, do chief. Uh, with he he basically gives you a quest, a quest where he asks you to to silence like a ghost that's banging on the wall. A little creepy. Oh, please don't hit me. It's down. Sacrum of the Dark Warlock. Founder of the Library of the Negated Words, the priest was known by the sobriquet, uh, sobriquet, I don't know how to say that, of the Dark One. He was caught practicing sorcery, surrounded by pagan writings. That's one of the victims of the church. Uh, basically the church caught him practicing quote-unquote witchcraft and executed him on the spot. Are you fucking kidding me? A goddamn book killed me. Didn't really do much progress. I'm gonna evade getting killed here. Away, bro. Give me that. I need that cherub. Let's continue. Ah. Secret area. No. There we go. Tibia of Alsa Alsali. The mystic. Al-Sali never believed in the authority of the Holy See of Custodia. He even claimed to have been able to contact the High Wills on his own. Be fervent. That is the secret. A lot of blasphemy going on, according to the church. God damn it. You just climb this and be a little bit more safe. Thank you. God damn it. Oh no, I could potentially die here. Wait, I'm gonna use this instead. Just so I can get through faster. This miracle is a fucking lifesaver. He's dead, and I believe there's a secret here. There we go. And it's an empty bottle flask, which is very useful in my case. Oh man, I don't remember what I- Ooh, don't kill me- Oof! Alright, this place was a little puzzle. Let's see if I can replenish some health. There we go. Not much, but something. He's dead. What the fuck? Watch this.
usually this guy just really fucks you up. Get out of here, ghost. Yep, there's a different variation of those ghosts. And they're resistant to, like, being hit. It's a little harder to get through them. Ow. Okay, I'm probably gonna get fried here. Not really. Woo! Get out of here. Get out of here, boy. Ooh, it's this lady. She increases my HP. I think I found like three of her. Thank you. Thank you for your for your aportaciones. I'm gonna ow. Thank you for hitting me hitting me with your bloody venison. Or deer thing, I don't know. Ah, this is yet another puzzle. I have to I can't remember what you had to do here. I think it was like a specific three actions. Alright. This is yet another puzzle. I completely skip it. Ah, but I actually won't. Because it edits it's a tad bit crucial. Completely forgot how to do this. Come on, homeboy. Hmm. Oh, I think I have an idea. By moving this one, there you go. There you go. Oh yeah, and the, the ghost is supposed to be here. We're gonna see it now, as soon as I use this. There he is. He's like smacking with a rock. The wall. Now he's gone. And I can just go back to Mr. Cleofas. And he will award us. With some... Money, I believe it is? I honestly can't remember. Ooh. Got insanely lucky on that one. I want to get that item. What is this? Ah, it's just more Tears of Atonement. Got that one. 25 out of 38. Ah, the sleeping canvases. This is yet another, uh, another area of this game. It's a bit, a little bit challenging. And there, then there's these men who are walking in like coated gold. And there's this thing, a golem made of rock. Ow! It completely extinguished me. From ever fucking existing. Oh, can I skip it? No, I can't. Chalice of the inverted versus has been partially filled. Oh yeah, because, you know... Uh... He's part of the... Enemies that we have to kill. Suki garlic. Honestly, I don't really like this area in the game. I consider it to be 
a little bit of a low point in the game. Damn it. It isn't dying. Come on, die. Ooh. I was insanely close. Uh, I don't want to go there. Fuck it. I can do something here. There we go. We can completely bypass these things. With this sprayer. People call that shit cheesy. I just, uh, straight up call it, uh, a strategy. Because, if you didn't know, that's one of the hardest areas in the game to get through. At least back in the day, uh, that puzzle did not have like some extra flooring on the bottom. So you had to be like really good and predict those like... Uh, I don't know how you call these... The, 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 yeah, the, the swinging blade things. The swingy things, as I like to call them. See where this takes us. Ooh. I'm gonna get you, boy. There you go. Kneecap of Sebastian, the puppeteer. Sebastian Wadja lived surrounded by puppets. To him, they were his family. His cry marked the night he disappeared into the flames of his theater, exclaiming, I forbid you to move. <laughs> So one of his puppets, uh... Holy shit, it came to life. God damn. That's actually pretty fucking creepy. Get out of here, son. Woo! Oh, not this guy again. I'm gonna use this instead. Spam this shit. There we go. HP for days. Ooh. He's down use this. Okay, cool. Guess I won't be using it then. Oh my god, dude. Are you fucking kidding me? Nice. This is the room where you basically uh, bring the cherubs. Uh, you know. Habéis encontrado a algunos de mis hermanos. Aunque todavía os pido encontrar a los demás. Guardad mientras este lienzo, hecho con el oro de nuestros rostros, y los hermanos os guiarán. Now we travel over to his place. And it's this creepy giant baby who's Entente. bathed in blood. Al encontrar a estos santos hermanos, habéis completado la visión de mi alumbramiento que fue pintada en un lienzo que se encontraba dormido. Siendo jocinero mi nombre, nací de la luna y del tormento de un toro bravo. Y de mí, por la gracia de las altas voluntades, mis santos hermanos. Here you go, Tears of Atonement. Depending on how many you get, he gives you a, a prayer, actually. Uh, and it's this one, the linen, the linen of the golden thread, right? Yeah, it's this one. Written of Golden Thread, which allows you, you know, you know uh, fall from high places to, to ditches that will usually kill you, and they won't. Ah, yes. This is home to one of the worst bosses in this game. Well, I like to call it that. But it's insanely creepy. His name is Exposito, sign of abjuration. I also do not like the music in here. Kind of sucks. 
I have to avoid a grab attack that the baby can do. There we go. That's a lot of damage. This boss can be extremely difficult if you don't have, like, uh, miracles to work with. I remember in my first playthrough I struggled with him so much. But it's because he's kind of, like, weird and laggy. Not laggy, just... Insanely unpredictable movement. God damn it. I'm gonna have to do something here. Come on, hurry up. Stupid thing. That moves around really fucking weirdly too. Oh, it's one hit away from dying! There we go. Alright. A little story for that boss. Basically, the, the baby is being held by, like, a wicker woman. Wicker is like... I believe it's like a type of wood. Of some sort. And the baby would always cry. Uh, because he was at birth. Uh, his mo his mother di died, I believe. So he cried because he didn't have the the sweet like touch of his mother. But as soon as they as they put him in the in the care of that wicker woman thing, uh, the baby stopped crying. Which brings up the question: Is there something inside the the wicker woman, or is like or that like the miracle you know gave it life? So the baby could stop crying. It's, you know, those amazing, uh, bits of lore. That I really like about this game. That guy is gone. He said, I'm out! Embosed Mask of Crescente. I'm gonna need this for, like, the final boss. It's a very useful item. As you can see. Veo todo desde lo más alto del árbol seco en el que el milagro me ha reencarnado. The miracle. Now we can return to the church up above. I'm gonna do this. And use my cheese strat. There we go. This thing is insane. I love this miracle. It protects you from all damage for a very short amount of time, but it really does the job when I mean it, like protecting you. It's fucking awesome. Not of the three words. Alright, and now we're gonna climb. 